Today I'm going to be showing you how the Park Assist works on the next generation Ranger. This one also has a 360 degree view camera so it's going to give us a really nice bird's eye view um, on, on the center console here of what the car is actually doing. This Park Assist is more advanced than previous generation Rangers in that you literally just have to press a button um, and it does everything else on its own. So I'll quickly show you how all of that works. So in today's example, we're gonna be parking to the left here, <coughs> parallel parking to the left. Uh, we've set up a couple of cars uh, for the demonstration. To get started, you press this park assist button, which is situated just there. So once we press that button, it asks us if we wanna to navigate to a parking or if we wanna use park assistance. So for today, we're gonna to be using that. So we press that button and then it goes into active park assist or it's scan mode. Uh, and it's obviously detected some cars here to the left so it's kind of thinking that we want to go that way so it's telling us green arrow move forward so we're in drive we release the park brake and we start edging forward and as we move forward the car is scanning once we get to about here it should detect that parking there it is space found stop it asks us to shift to neutral so we shift to neutral once there it's saying release the pro the brake and hold the park button so there's the park button we're going to hold that down and release the brake so now we've released brake we're not doing anything the steering it's doing it all itself the only thing i have to do is keep holding down this park button um, and it's going to park itself at any stage we can shift to cancel so if there's anything that it's still telling us to be attentive of our surroundings there it goes and stop there and now it's straightening up at any stage we can shift to cancel or we can release the park button to cancel there we go we're in and then it's gone over into park all on its own so it's moved the e-shifter into park we can release the button and that's it park assistance has parked the vehicle for us easy as that so if we want to get out same same uh, scenario all we have to do is uh, let's just switch off the car reset everything open the door close the door pretend like we've just come back into the car so we put our foot on the brake start her up and uh, we're in we're in a parking spot so we hit the park button uh, we've got park assistance and we tell it which way we want to go out. so we want to go to the right so we hit the right indicator we shift to neutral like it's telling us to do like that and then we hold down the park button and release the brake easy as that so now it's going to start backing up and it's steering and now it's going to come forward so when it's getting you out of a park it's it's going to take you to a point where your nose is sticking out let's just see here just like that And there it says it's finished so to understand why it's left us at this angle it's because you've still got to look and see and make sure there's not cars coming it's not just going to pull you out into the middle of the street so it's taken you to a point where you, it's safe for you to go forwards but you still got to look around make sure there's no cars shift into drive make sure the park brake is off and pull out of your parking spot easy as that so thank you for watching this video on how the park assist works on the next generation rangers it was this video was made with suggestions from our viewers so thank you for those suggestions please keep them coming uh, we do try and read as many of the comments as we can um, if you've got any other suggestions that you want to make leave them in the comments below don't forget to subscribe